Hi. At some point, you may want to reset your Oracle VM servers to the same state they were in after Oracle VM was installed and just before you discovered them for the first time in Oracle VM Manager. This short video explains how to reinitialize your Oracle VM servers. So the process is pretty simple and everything is done uh, on the Oracle VM servers. Now I'm assuming uh, one of two things at this point. Um, you've already deleted the server from the Oracle VM Manager, or uh, you have completely dropped the Oracle VM uh, database. In either case, it's important that the server no, uh, is no longer part of the model. Now, the model is a term used to describe the Oracle VM Manager and all the objects contained in the Manager, including server pools, servers, virtual machines, uh, storage, and networking. The first thing we do is log into the Oracle VM server uh, and stop the OVS agent. After that, you'll need to remove the uh, local OVS agent database on the server. Each server has its own local Berkeley database containing information it needs to keep, uh, uh, keep running in the Oracle uh, VM environment. This is one of the reasons everything keeps running uh, even when the Oracle VM manager is not running correctly, corrupted, or not running at all. If this server belongs to a clustered server pool, then we'll also need to remove any references to OCFS2. The next thing uh, we need to do is clean up the network configuration so the server looks just like it did right after installing Oracle VM Server. The last thing we need to do is reboot the server. I'm going to reinitialize five servers. You may only be reinitializing one, um, but the uh, steps are the same no matter how many servers you are reinitializing. I begin the process on my lab admin server where I shut down the OVS agent on all the servers before logging into the first one. It's important that you shut down the OVS agent on all the servers before beginning since the clustering features of Oracle VM um, servers uh, will attempt to restart the uh, virtual machines uh, on other servers in the cluster as I reboot each of the servers after cleaning it up. The lab admin server is a special server I use to manage multiple Oracle VM platforms. I make sure this particular server is always able to log into all Oracle VM servers uh, without having to provide a password. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, put that away. And then we'll bring this guy up. There's my admin server. And all I'm going to do is go for um, server in um, 789. 15 and 16, these are the servers I'm going to be shutting down. Um, do um, a little echo just to keep track of what we're doing. Um, shutting down or stopping um, my server dollar server. And then we'll actually do it. SSH to my server dollar server and then execute service um, OVS agent stop got all my quotes right we're ready and then we go done yes okay well I guess I don't have that set up on that one uh, but the rest of them work fine all right. Uh, anyway, uh, they were all uh, the OVS agent is shut down on all the servers. Even though I have five servers, I'm just going to show you the process on one of them. So let's log into my server 16. Now I'm going to put this putty away, and then I'm going to bring this one up. Now I've already logged into it. Um, and XL list. Uh, now. Uh, this really doesn't have anything to do with reinitializing the servers, but notice that Excel list still shows running virtual machines, even though we uh, have shut down the OVS agent on this server. Now, we don't really care uh, since these will all go away once we re uh, reboot the server. Um, the pool file systems will go away, the uh, virtual machines will go away, and the repositories will all go uh, away once we've cleaned all this up and we've rebooted the server. Okay, so the uh, next step in our process is to uh, go ahead and uh, get rid of the uh, OVS agent database. Now, what is the OVS agent database? Um, it actually resides here, um, Etsy OVS agent. And then if you look in here, there's a directory there. Oh, I hate that. Uh, Unalias 
whoops, ls. Um, you can see there's a, a directory here called um, db. Um, and in there is several files, uh, db, uh, exports, repository, and server. So repository is why you never see uh, any of your repositories in FS tab. Server is why you never see any entries for the pool file system in FS tab. Um, and to uh, access these databases to see if they're actually um, valid, uh, we just go uh, OVS agent db and uh, dump, whoops, dump underscore db and then let's say server. Well, let's go with repository. Okay, so there's all my repositories, and this is how they get mounted. Now, if we use that same command, I just up arrowed, and then type in server, uh, and this is where I get my pool file system from. Uh, you can see it uh, right here. All right, um, so anyway, uh, when I remove this database, um, all I have to do uh, is leave that directory there, but I'm going to remove uh, f db star. Now I've shut down OVS agent, so nothing adverse is going to happen. Um, but at this point, if I executed those same exact commands again, you'll see uh, that these files don't exist anymore. Now they will be recreated automatically when I reboot this server. So you don't need to do anything at all. Okay, uh, now that we've deleted the database, uh, we can go on to uh, step uh, three, which is to clean up the OCFS. Um, now you only have to do this if you had a clustered server pool, um, a clustered server pool, it means you had a pool file system. Uh, anyway, there is a directory here uh, called uh, OCFS2. Well, <laughs> better walk through the steps here. I cd'd to Etsy, slash Etsy, uh, and now I'm going to do a list of OCFS2 just uh, so you can see what's there. There's a cluster configuration file. Um, this is basically all you need to get rid of. Um, so I'm just going to go remove. Uh, RF OCFS2 and then that will get rid of our um, uh, clustered uh, file system. Um, so this will no longer be part of the cluster when we bring it back up just like it was when we first installed it. Okay, our last major step is to clean up the networking. Uh, let me just clear this to get some of that stuff off the screen. Um, so now we're going to go to sysconfig uh, and then in here, of course, is the network scripts um, uh, directory there. Now, I'm going to show you how to clean it up, but this is a little trick I do when I know I'm going to be doing this over and over and over again. Um, I, when I first install uh, the operating system or the hypervisor, um, I go ahead and create a copy of uh, networkscripts.org uh, as it is right then before I even discover the servers. So basically, at this point, all I have to do is remove that directory called network scripts and then put network scripts dot, or copy network scripts uh, dot org to network scripts and then reboot the server and I'm done. Now I'm assuming you haven't done that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, CD into network scripts. Network scripts tab. Okay, and there we have it. Now you can see all the files here. Uh, we're going to get rid of all the meta files. They just go away. Uh, we're going to get rid of all the bridges. Uh, we're going to get rid of all the bonds except bond zero. Um, and then we're going to um, uh, check bond zero to make sure it's correct. Uh, ETH zero should be okay. And then we're going to reset ETH one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and whatever interfaces you have, and make sure that they all say um, they don't have any references to bonds or anything in those. All right, so um, let's go ahead and remove the meta files. Uh, remove minus F meta uh, star. Okay, then we're going to remove minus F bond one star and bond two star. Um, and we may as well get rid of the if uh, cfg dash uh, 10 whatever star. We'll get rid of all those files. So let's take a look now. Um, gosh, didn't I get rid of the bond? Oh, oh, oh. I'm very clever that way. I forgot the if config. If cfg. 
dash if cfg dash that should do it okay so those are all gone uh, gone and now what I said I was going to do was uh, if cfg dash uh, bond zero and if cfg dash eth star okay so there's really nothing to uh, change in here uh, bond zero this is how it is uh, from uh, the default install so I'm going to move on to the next one uh, eth zero this is how it should be it belongs to bond zero uh, and now eth one now this is not how it uh, should be it should basically just say on boot no uh, and then master and slave should be gone so what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, change this guy to no and then I'm going to delete that uh, dd that dd this and then uh, just to make it a little simpler for myself I'm going to copy this into a buffer so um, uh, double quote buffer a like a and then yank yank um, now I'm going to write and next goes to the next file because I did uh, uh, vi uh, if config star basically and then all I need to do now is go 3dd and then paste that in uh, double quote a p for paste and write next and that is good and that is good and that's not good 3dd paste next uh, another one come on now 3dd uh, right next oh, oh 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 rats I forgot I have to go back and do that one again uh, I didn't put my uh, paste my uh, line in there 3dd paste right next that's the last file uh, what is it eth7 so we're going to rewind and now we're going to have to go next next until I find the one that I didn't put that line back in sorry kind of screwed things up screwed up my continuity okay and now we'll just paste that back in there okay and now I'm just going to go ahead and exit now all of those files are all set uh, none of the meta files exist anymore none of the bond files other than bond zero exist eth zero is as it should be and eth one uh, through seven have all been reset to uh, on boot no uh, and they don't belong to any bonds or anything like that so basically at this point I am completely done uh, all I need to do now is reboot the server so let's just go ahead and do that uh, reboot Right, there we go okay now that the uh, server has rebooted uh, we'll bring it back up I logged into it already and uh, we'll just CD over here to uh, Etsy um, OBS agent whoops slash DB and you can see the files have been recreated um, you can also see there's no repositories uh, no pool file system. Um, if you type this command, OVS agent db dump db server, it will be empty. Or offline uh, repositories is empty. Oops, repository empty. Okay, so uh, basically the server is ready to go. Um, if we do if config, We'll just see uh, bond zeros configured. Let me just scroll back up with no bridges, no other bonds, nothing else. So it's just a basic install. Anyway, uh, thanks for taking a look at the video, and I hope it was helpful.